Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to talk about negligible functions. So if you are learning cryptography, then you have already come across negligible functions. Okay. So I'm going to explain um, first the definition, and then I'm going to show you some examples in order to understand and identify which ones are the negligible functions. Okay. What functions are the negligible functions? So a function f is negligible if for every polynomial p, there exists an n such that for all integers n greater than n, it holds that this function f of n is less than inverse, right? One, one by p of n. Again, this p could be any polynomial, okay? So that's why it says every polynomial. So it could be, let's say, p of n could be just n, p of n could be, let's say, n plus 5, because this is also a polynomial. p of n could be n squared plus n plus 5, or p of n could just be n to the power 5, and so on, right? So there exist many polynomials. You could pick any polynomials. But for every polynomial, there will be some n, right? For, for all n's greater than this n, uh, this function f of n is going to be less than this inverse of the polynomial, all right? And again, another way to say the, that same thing is that for all constants n, uh, constant c, there exists an n, capital N, such that for all n greater than n, it holds that the negligible function is less than n to the power minus c. Again, this negligible function is f of n, right? So f of n is less than n to the power minus c. So this is same as f of n is less than 1 by n to the power of c. And p of n over here is n to the power of c, and c is some constant. Okay? All right. So now let's take some example in order to understand the concept more, more in depth. Okay? So let's take some examples. So here I have, uh, we have a function q to the power minus n, and we have to show that this is a negligible function and for what values, uh, for what value of that n, right? Uh, this function, that capital N uh, is this negligible. So f of n is q to the power minus n. Okay, let's choose any polynomial. You could pick any polynomial. For my case, I'm picking it as n to the power uh, minus six, right? So my c is six, okay? So we have to, we know the definition of negligible function. So f of n has to be less than one of p of n, okay? So that means that two to the power minus n has to be less than uh, n to the power minus six, okay? I'm gonna take log two on both sides two to the power minus n is less than log two of n to the power minus six, okay? And that will give me minus n log two of two less than minus six log two of n, all right? And this will give me minus n log two of two is one less than minus six of log two of n, okay? So now let's, try to find out the value of n for which this condition is true, right? So again, this will be, if I want to cancel the minus, it will be, I have to multiply by minus one. So it will be n greater than six log two of n. Okay, so I will have six log two of n. And let, let's write down if this condition is false or true. So I have to pick n greater than one. So if I pick two, what do I get? Uh, n as two and then six ln of two. So just use your calculator, plug in the values. And then I think I got 4.15. Two is not greater than 4.15. So this is false, okay? So this is like not false over here, like the condition, right? If the condition is true or false, okay? So what about if I pick four? And again, put in the uh, put in the values in your computer, and it's I'm getting eight point three one. Eight point four is not greater than eight point three one. So false. What about I'm I'm going to pick ten and see what happens there? So when I pick ten, I get thirteen point eight one. Again, false. 
what about let me take 15 when i take 15 it's 16.24 okay when i take 15 false what about i take 20 so when i pick 20 when i pick 20 i will get 17.97 so in here, right? So exactly over here, 20, it's, I can see that it's greater, right? Now the condition is true. But before 20, let me try 19. What do I get from 19? Okay, so for 19, okay. So if I pick 19 over here, I will get 17.66. Okay, again, that is false, but this one, the condition is true. Right, your n is greater than log 2 of n times 6, right? So it's this condition is true. So that means this n, okay, the n is 20, okay? And if you plug in the value is greater than 20, this condition will still be met. Let's pick 21 and see what happens. Okay, so if I pick 21, I will see that I will get 18.26. Again, this is greater than this. So that means that N is greater than this, right? What about, let me take 100 now. What happens if I take 100? And if I take 100, and I can see that if I take 100, it's going to be 27.63, and it's still true and true, okay? So this means that this function F of N, is equal to two to the power minus n is negligible, okay? Is negligible, negligible, uh, negligible when p of n is n to the power minus six for all n greater than n equals to 20 okay so for n greater than 20 this function is negligible but again i choose in my example i choose n to the power minus 6 so that's why i got n equals to 20. if you choose another polynomial let's say if you choose n to the power minus 5 okay you are going to get a different value of n Okay, so it depends on what polynomial you pick. But whatever polynomial you pick, this function will be negligible. But for what values it's going to be negligible, that again depends on the polynomial. All right, so I hope this is helpful. Let's take one.